as many of you know, last week Intrepid gave us their monthly live stream showcasing the Cleric, its healing abilities, along with group gameplay, constellations, and more. But, as I've been noticing in the comments from my breakdown video, a lot of you really did not like what Intrepid showed us this time around. But what exactly made it so bad? Personally, I enjoyed what Intrepid showed us. Yes, it's still early alpha footage and unpolished and there is a lot to improve on, but people tend to get stuck on the fact that it is not the final version of the game and they are still continuing to iterate on, which is clearly the case here in some circumstances, but I do see why some people are upset by this. My biggest issue with this stream is maybe Intrepid showed us the cleric and group gameplay a bit sooner than they should have. The intent behind this live stream, at least I thought it was, was to show the cleric in action and show off how healing would work with the latest iteration of combat from Intrepid. But we seem to have gotten a very, very early version of the cleric, which really only had two healing spells along with a buff and an AoE stun. And while what we saw for the healing abilities were cool, I did enjoy seeing how they worked healing along with the class synergy tie-ons, which really got me excited for the future of combat in Ashes of Creation. But a single target heal and a chain heal aren't exactly enough to showcase how healing will actually play out when the game launches, or even in Alpha 2, because we know there are a lot more than four abilities on any given action bar for any of the archetypes in the final version of the game, and there was more than that in Alpha 1, and I imagine there's going to be more than that in Alpha 2. And healing is really about mana management, timing your abilities, and managing your position on the battlefield. None of this we actually got in the preview. And again, not an issue with the gameplay, but more of the environment that they did it in. There was no tank, so clearly the tank isn't quite ready to be shown off. And it's not easy to tell how exactly healing will work when you're running through level 15 mobs in the open world that can be taken down in a few seconds, with no tank and not even a full party of what will be 8 people still crushing the mobs. I was really hoping to see some actual skill-based gameplay, like a run through a dungeon, with a full party taking on a boss or two. I mean, it did didn't even have to be a new dungeon, they could have just ran through one of the Alpha 1 dungeons if they aren't in pieces, just to give us a better idea of the healer itself. It could, though, just be us. Intrepid had very few teases for the Cleric this month, but we did know it was coming. They dropped this one image a day or so before the stream, along with a mention in the AMA, but that was it. They didn't even include the Cleric in the title of the video they uploaded after the stream. It's called Night and Day and Other Heavenly Things. It wasn't a combat update video like we got for the Ranger and the Melee, so honestly, it doesn't seem as though that Intrepid even had the intent of showing this as a healing overview at all, and I think think maybe we as the community took that a step further than we should have and jumped the gun. But you know, us people on the internet don't do that. If that was the case, like I said, then maybe Intrepid should have held off on the cleric a bit longer and shown us another class or one of the two classes we've already seen until they were ready to really give us a healing showcase. Speaking of the day and night cycle though, I do love the updated skybox with the ambience changes from day to night along with how the world feels different between the two, but I do hope that nighttime is still a bit darker than what we got. I don't think that the open world needs to be dark enough where you need special equipment to see, as this isn't a survival game, but definitely dark enough so you feel you're in a spooky graveyard at night and maybe just being dark enough to hide what's around the corner in the distance to give you a little scare. This is something that Intrepid wanted feedback on and I've seen a lot of comments on it already so make sure you head over to the forums and give them your thoughts on it as well. The other thing I noticed that a lot of people didn't like were the graphics. I saw a lot of comments on how it looks worse than the last showcase we got and how it just looked bad in general, which I disagree. I think that the area Steven and the crew were in was less polished than the Riverlands area that we had seen in the past streams and they're still going through the passes on it. Steven even made a comment about how one of the lanterns was from 2017 with the original models that they made from the game, which if you followed the development for a while, they have been going back through and updating all of these textures, and this is probably not the only thing in the zone that has yet to have a new pass on it. My biggest dislike of this area was there was way too much fog at times, which hopefully ties more into the season tech than in the area itself. I'm hoping that the fog will be more absent midday and heavier at night in the final version of the game, as it 
looks really cool and it's a cool effect, but it might just need to be toned down just slightly. As for the animations and clipping and all of that that you guys are complaining about, well, they even said in the beginning of the stream that this stuff will be fixed down the road. I don't think a cape clipping in the armor is number one priority right now going into Alpha 2, but it will definitely be taken care of before launch, so don't you cape clipping people worry. It'll happen. Do you think Intrepid should have pushed the Cleric Showcase back a little bit to get a little bit more polish on it and give us a true healing showcase? Drop a comment down below, and if you haven't yet, I have been revamping the Richie SH Discord, trying to bring it back to life with new form discussions, channels, and more, so jump over and help bring it back. As the invite link for this is down below with my Ashes of Creation referral link, which you can use to create an Intrepid account. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a long more to come.